Let's make more, shall Let's we? Yes. Yeah, never, never time. I'm cheap, baby. <laughs> we haven't done that in a while. We had so many hearings and things last week Man. that we really didn't go over time much. Very so kind of one of the rare nice to work it's that nice. out. I yeah. mean, I'd like to dance, but Mom said no twerking at church, and this is kind of like church. <laughs> <laughs> that was her one rule. So, uh, out of all the things <laughs> that <laughs> you are oh anxious God. to get done, what do you feel like Congress can actually accomplish? I think we I honestly, I think we can accomplish it all. We need all? the Senate. No, I do. I do. Like in this lifetime, I think so. It's possible. I'm not saying. Okay. The all right. All right. I want to. I want to drill down here for just a second because yeah. Paul Ryan says that the House kind of has tax reform. The Senate has yeah. no idea on tax reform, and the President is too yeah. vague. So. How on earth are we going to do tax reform if you guys can't even do health care and that has to go first? I think we can't. Well, the key is the health care thing. This has got to get done. And this is on the Senate. The Senate, you know, you hear mixed messages. Some that say we're not going to get it done in the Senate. And some that are like, actually, I think we're close. It's not going to look exactly like the But you're like there. The what do you think? What do you think for real? Are they going to do it? I we think for real, it. yes. You're going to hold me to it. No, I think for real, yes, but it's not pretty, right? It's not fun. What and, does uh, not pretty mean? Like, are you guys the fighting? Or are you? <laughs> no, I mean, it's, <laughs> look, you, again, you have a few senators, you know, uh, the main senator, Susan Collins, says sh she absolutely needs Planned Parenthood funded in this. Then you have... Uh, you know, some who say I'm not going to vote for anything with Planned Parenthood in it. So this is the battle. You got to get 50 Maybe we got to talk about what the function of government is. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. the basic question over and over and over again. Everyone's got a laundry list. Yeah. Everyone has an agenda. Yep. The problem is people's agendas are very expensive and we can't afford it. Right. Do you know to that point, and I'm going to steal from Charles Crowdhammer, it was a, um, something he said a while ago. The Republicans have already lost because the Democrats have conned the American people into believing that it's the government's job to provide them with that health insurance. care is a right. That it, it's, the, it's the government's job. And I, I, I'm going to make a prediction here because I'm starting to hear this. Very careful, slow, crafted messaging from the left, from Democrats, about single payer for all. Oh, yeah. It's starting in California. They, you know, they're pushing it. It's going to be four hundred billion dollars and a fifteen percent increase right. in the payroll tax yeah. in California. Can I just tell you. But I again, they're going to message it like this. But it's so easy. We just deduct a little bit of money from your, um, you know, from your paycheck every month, and we're going to provide you with health insurance, and it's going to be great coverage. And they'll never mention no. the fact that Medicare is going broke. It's going to be broke in 11 years. Amen. And by the way, not to mention it's going to the, be like the, the state VA. system. But, but in, in California, my husband has a, a manufacturing facility in California, and I have to tell you, Texas makes a hard court press every couple months. Someone from Texas will call up his factory really? and and. And yeah. give them incentives to come over. And, you know, if they've got, as a small business, another 15% on top of what they're already paying, not to mention with insurance and regulation wow. and, and all the barriers to entry for small businesses to begin with. And Texas is like, they love it. They're like, uh, I, wide I open mean, arms. I think that you're going to hear this, though, at the national level. Yeah. And, and the you more won't. government control is over your health and your health care, do you really want, no offense, Bureaucrats <laughs> deciding. I want a bureaucrat. Well, you can, no, but yeah. lawmakers right. deciding who gets to live and who gets to die because if that's, that's ultimately what it comes, what down, it comes to. down to. Well, and, and to, add, to add your point, so I have very publicly said, and a lot of people don't, we have to reform Social Security. We have to make changes to you Social Security. And I'll that. tell you, the right and the left go berserk and say, because they see it as a political thing to talk about, they say, oh no, we don't want to touch your social security because they're afraid they're going to offend the population that votes the highest, which is seniors and above. I've said, look, I'm 39. You can make changes for me on social security. You can, we right. can all agree to some, and then we'll Reagan save the did. system for a hundred years. Yeah. Reagan did it. Uh, no, people and, and also, we've grown just, up in a generation that we don't, I've never believed, I mean, I've been paying social security tax since I was six months you old. You to get it. I've never thought I was going to get it. <laughs> right. So if you tell me been, now. Yes. No, you have been. Literally. You were yes. working at six yes. months. She was, she was a TV star as a baby, and uh, we watch you all the time on reruns. You're so sweet. But I've never, <laughs> in all those payments, in all those years, I've never thought I'm getting Social yeah, Security. That's right. I mean, that's right. so it's, a, you're, it's just like you say, if you start with the younger people and say, look, this is a giant Ponzi scheme. We're supporting older people right now. And we don't have enough later. workers to support retirees. No. And and it's, you know, the, the pyramid is inverting well, very, and, very quickly. And when people, when it was created, people's average life expectancy was 63, right and you couldn't Don't collect it until you're 65. Great point. All right, now happens. they're going to say you're going to live to be 100. Actuarial tables say I live to be 100. So nice. Come on. All right. We, Is it because you can run an eight-minute mile? That's tables. We, it's not lifestyle. Lifestyle a, is like 650. Uh, we'll be out of here by then. Well, 
Let's see, Michelle Pecarao, I think is how you say her last name. Dagan gets it, Melissa does too. Dagan really gets it, please keep her on, like <laughs> Melissa too. Uh, people, if I like you, it's because I've read or I'm considering reading your uh, remarks, and they are cooking so fast I had to slow down the feed on the Facebook Live. So nice. we thank everybody for watching us there. Uh, we have so many people crashing onto our live chat right now on our show page that it's frozen. Liam writes, frozen Dagan on my screen in a talk to the hand pose. Oh, I love it. <laughs> So yeah, well, like I said, we haven't done this in a few days because we've had so much breaking news and hearings and whatnot during this hour. So people are excited to see us back. So Yay. I think all the people who are watching us, it's very kind. Let me know on Facebook where you're watching us from, because we always like to know that. You'll be on tomorrow because um, sessions doesn't start till 2:30. I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. right? Uh, what is this now? Session starts at 2:30. Oh, I yeah. wish we had the so, morning session. Peggy Adams Newport. I love that name. Yeah, she's loving watching the show. Oh, Peggy. Uh, it's Peggy Ashlyn from the South. Jordan Brown, Republicans need to stand up and support. There must be more of it. So let me just fill in the blank. And Ashlyn, forgive me if this isn't where you were going. But during the James Comey thing, I was just thinking, why weren't Republicans tweeting the heck out of everything that they were getting accomplished? The Choice Act made it out of the House. Yeah. There were a lot of things that you guys were doing last week. And the mainstream oh. media, was they weren't going to cover it. So why not? Even if you don't support the president, which I know you do, but some of your members don't, even if you don't want to full throw to do that, why not like say, hey, guys, look at what we're doing. We're accomplishing yeah. something. I, Stuff I, is happening. We, we try. And maybe you can always say, yeah, maybe you need to do more. Maybe you need to overwhelm But that was a big Twitter. piece of legislation. Yeah, we should it was tell huge. the people. It, it was Choice huge. Act. And, uh, but, I mean, again, it's, it's what sells is what's tantalizing at the moment. Passing the Choice Act is really important for government and the financial markets. It's not tantalizing, right? What's it sure is. If you're a small business, yeah. it'll, be yeah, that it'll be a lot easier for you to get money if those community Fully banks agree. don't yeah. have to pay that cost of compliance for Dodd-Frank. Yep, well, agree. and I was reading how many small banks were folding on a daily basis yeah. in this country. Yeah, and being well, gobbled up by the big banks who were the beneficiaries yeah. of Dodd-Frank. Yeah, and Frank. Illinois has a ton of community banks. It's actually got a really rich community mm. bank system. If and only they could sell guns. Yeah, that's right. Mm. But actually, wait, we have concealed carry now in Illinois. But, so I look at these banks and I talk to these bank owners and the people and the directors and they're like, they say, look, you, you basically took a problem with the major banks and you put that burden on us and then called them too big to fail. That's Dodd-Frank yeah. in a nutshell. Right. Uh, That's right. Leslie Harris writes, Social Security in the beginning was optional. Why can't we go back to that? We were having that health care discussion. Your thoughts? Well, I mean, if it was optional, no one would pay into it. No one would join. I mean, the idea is that you need some sort of safety net. I get that entirely. It's just we just have to be honest about how but we're financing. The safety right. net isn't yeah. supposed to cover everyone. And yeah. people should be able to opt out of it and do what they want with their money so their money can actually make money because right now Social Security goes into the general fund, which has already been spent. It's a bad Lois, system. Yeah. Lois Campers, California here. Joseph Harvey, cousin Joe. Kennedy is a genius. Well, I cousin? wouldn't go that far, but uh, pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> cousin Joe, must be cousin. Uh, and Francis Franchella Apfel. Wow, Ooh, that's pretty. That's Republicans funny. wake up now. I wonder, do you know what she might mean? I mean, what, what more do people want? You've got oh, to be hearing from the people. There's a lot what do they we want? all need to wake up to. Um, I, could, I could fill in that blank. Let me say what I think Republicans should wake up to is let's get some things passed. You're not going to yeah. wait. You can't have a perfect bill every time. It's a difficulty with uh. the health care law. People said it's not perfect or I'd add this or I'd take away that. Yeah, there's a ton of things I'd add or take away too, but this is better than the system we have. We all yeah. have to figure a way. Congressman, to gonna what's going to happen in 2020? Is President Trump going to run for re-election? I think so, and I think he'll win. Who but we've got to we've got to get some things. Do you think done. any Republicans will peel off and challenge him for? The no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think look, he, he's got great support among the base. Um, he's going to uh, the Russia stuff's going to wear out, and he's going to be focused on what we need to get done. And uh, I hope we can get infrastructure done. By the way, I think that's important yeah. too for the country. You optimistic? Uh, y y yes and no. I mean, what's going to get done first? Uh, I think first it'll be probably have to be health care. Next would be tax reform, and that may be tied to an extent with infrastructure, but we'll I, see. I'm excited to see what they do with infrastructure. We yeah. talk about this on the mm -hmm. business network all the time in, in terms of trying to improve the permitting process. Right. Permit reform. Financing. The president had a great speech on right. that on Friday. And he did yeah. with, with visuals, with all kinds of props that he was throwing around. <laughs> was a, right. you know, he was, was the a, carrot top of presidencies. <laughs> a record uh, amount uh, of Denise money. Denise Anderson, <laughs> great group today. I just put out your words on the live chat uh, that you said, wake up GOP and get things passed. There's never going to be a perfect bill. That's right. That is yeah. such a great point. Great to have you. Hey, Please it was come great back being soon. Here. Thank you. Woo, woo. Thank all right, you. we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. All right.